Hey, my fellow jewelers, today we're making this beauty. Oh my goodness. I love the layered look. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I have been seeing a lot of the layered look lately, whether it's three separate necklaces or whether it's just one put together that looks like separate necklaces, but I love it. And with this particular necklace, I made it so there's not a clasp. You can just fit it over your neck. But here's the deal. You are the creator of your own jewelry making so you can either have no clasp or you can make it so you put it tight around your neck and it's more close to your neck. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so excited. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe my channel and click that bell to get notifications because I'm all about the how to's of jewelry making. And I also do some product review for jewelry making supplies. So I know you're excited. I know I'm excited. So you and me, let's get started. So this is what you're gonna need to make your three stranded necklace. Now, the first thing I would do is I would start with my beaded strand. So I want to put on every single bead two loops. I've done that for most of them. So I want to show you how to actually do it. So I'm gonna take my head pin and I wanna put it through my small bead. This is a five millimeter bead. And I wanna make a loop really small using my round nose pliers. Now, I wanna make this loop super tiny um, because I want to kind of match the size of the bead. So I bent it at a 90 degree angle and then I'm going to grab the wire at the very tip of my round nose pliers and I'm going to curl my loop around and make one loop. Now you don't have to close up right now because you're going to connect all these loops together. So I made one loop on this side and I'm going to cut the excess wire off and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut off most of it because I want a really, really small loop. And if this is the first time you're doing it, just do the loops that you're comfortable with. If you want a medium sized loop or a large size loop, but I've been doing it well, so I want a really, really, really tiny loop. I love tiny loops. I feel like um, they really go with this necklace. And so I made a loop on the other side. And so I have a loop on this side and a loop on that side. And you're gonna do that for 24 beads. If you have five millimeter beads, you're gonna do that for 20 24 of them. And so you're gonna um, make all the loops for that. And then since we're making loops already, let's make loops for the other beads that we need loops for. So for the smallest strand, I'm gonna have two pendants. Now you can have pendants that are already made, but I actually want to have one pendant that's made and one pendant from the small beads that I'm using for the second strand. And so to, in order to make that pendant, I'm gonna use the same bead and I'm only gonna make a loop on one side. So I'm gonna make sure that my it goes on my head pin and that my head pin is right here but I want to make a loop um, on this side and again I want to make it pretty small maybe not as small as uh, the ones I made for the second strand so I'm going to use my cutter tools and I'm going to cut off the excess and then I am going to use my round nose pliers and bend it back at a 90 degree angle just like that and I'm going to put my wire again pretty much at the tip um, pretty close to the end. I'm going to loop it around and I, you do need to close this one up. You may need to make sure this is closed because this is your pendant. And even if you need to use your long nose pliers, you're going to make sure it's closed and bring it up. And there you've made your own pendant. So I've made a pendant for my my smallest strand. Now I also want to make a pendant for my longest strand chain. Now, oh, Oh my goodness, I love this bead. I love the teardrop shape. Um, but the problem is the hole doesn't go from the bottom to the top. The hole goes from side to side. And so that's a little tricky making my pendant. Now again, you can have a pre-made pendant and use a pre-made pendant, but I wanted to really match my beads on my second strand. And so I'm gonna make my own pendant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my head pin through my bead and I instead of curling it from side to side I want to curl it so it's curling to the top so I'm going to grab again my round nose pliers and I'm going to curl it in I'm going to curl this in um to kind of make mini mouse ears and you'll see that in a minute or Mickey mouse ears whichever ears you like haha <laughs> I, I have a little girl that loves mini mouse so I tend to make mini mouse ears okay so I have a loop right here and then I am going to make um my loop on my other side and again I am going to 
curl it. Now you need to make them the same way. You need to make them so they're facing the same way. So they're both, um, that the loop part is going towards it, okay? And then, so we're gonna go like this, and we are going to curl in, and one's a little bit bigger than the other. It's a little floppy ears. So I, and so I have a loop right here and a loop right here, and I'm gonna have that connect to my chain. And so I did that, and then, since we're still on making loops, ooh, loops are so much fun. I make them in almost every video, because I love them. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is, I have beads that are gonna connect the chain that goes around your neck um, from the bead to the circle, the metal circle. So what you're gonna do is, yes, you're gonna do a loop on both sides, but the loop you're connecting to your metal circle, it needs to be a bit bigger because if it's not big, then the metal circle will not fit into the loop. So instead of making a really small loop, I'm gonna make a medium size loop. So I'm gonna grab that, again, doing a 90 degree angle, but I'm gonna go into the middle. I'm gonna grab my wire from the middle of my round nose pliers, and I'm gonna loop around. Now you don't have to finish it, um, Let's say let's not finish it and let's put already that that circle metal circle on and then you close it up. And so you want to make sure you close it up so that the metal circle doesn't come off. But see, I made a medium sized loop right there. I made a medium sized loop so that this has a bit of give. And then now I'm going to cut off my top right here. I'm going to cut off my top and I'm going to make, I don't know, a small... Um, smaller, medium sized loop. So again, 90 degree angle. I wanna take it more, see this would be in the center, but I'm gonna take it more closer to the end where it's a smaller loop. And I am going to loop this around. And so there you go. You have um, this all ready to put a chain around it. Oh, <laughs> it's so exciting. This is so great. So the next thing I wanna do for this necklace is I wanna connect all these beads together to make one strand. So I will show you how to do that on a couple of them, then you can do the rest on your own. So I'm gonna open up my loop. I'm gonna open up my loop, and then I'm gonna grab one of my other similar beads, and then I'm gonna close the loop up. I'm gonna close it up. And I'm gonna make sure both sides are closed up because if they're not closed up, they will fall off and fall apart. And you don't want that, of course. And then I'm gonna, um, so I have this connected here, and then I'm gonna open this side up, and I'm gonna take another one of my beads with two loops on it, and I'm gonna put it on my loop, and then I'm gonna close it up again. Yes, close it up. And sometimes it's a little hard, so you can use your long nose pliers. And I gotta close up my other side, but there you have the beginning of your strand making. And so now I'm gonna connect all of these beauties together to make the second strand. So you can go ahead and do that. Okay, we have assembled the second strand. Oh, I love it. So the second strand is about 12 inches. So I am gonna do about a 10 inch chain strand right here to put my two pendants on. And then I'm gonna do about 14 strand right here to um, put my pendant on. Um, you can change the length between the two if you don't want two inches versus two inches. Um, if you want them a little bit more apart or less apart, you could do one inch apart or three inch apart, whatever you want, but I'm doing two inches um, from each other, from each strand, okay? I want to start assembling my necklace. So I'm gonna take the 10 inch strand and I'm gonna put my pendants on. That's just a nice little thing to do right now. I think it's a good step to take for this next one. We gotta get it through um, the pendant. There, they do slip a little, but I think that's pretty cute to tie it all together. And then um, for this chain, I'm actually going to cut it in half and then put my pendant on. So I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm going to open up my chain, okay? I'm gonna cut that, and then I am going to put my um, this pendant on. So I'm gonna open up the Mickey Minnie Mouse ears. I'm gonna put my chain through. There we go. 
Okay, and for my other side, I'm gonna open it up and put the chain on that side, put the other chain on that side. So we have all three strands ready to be put together. So now I need to connect my three strands to my middle circle. And in doing that, I need to get my jump ring. So I'm gonna grab my jump ring and I'm gonna get my round nose pliers, my long nose pliers, and I'm gonna open up gently. And then I'm going to take my longest strand and the last link on my longest strand on one side, I'm gonna put it through my jump ring. And then I'm going to take my second strand and put it through and then my shortest strand next. So I'm putting them in order so they're not twisted up. And then I'm gonna put on my metal circle. Oh my goodness, it's coming together. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this thing coming together. Okay, and I'm gonna take my pliers, my long nose and my round nose, and I'm going to make sure that I connect my jump ring just like that. Okay, <gasps> I'm so excited, I'm so excited. It is coming together. Okay, now make sure when you put it down to do the other side, you don't twist, you don't get it all twisted up. And it seems like it's twisted up right now. So I'm trying to untwist it. And then I'm going to grab my other jump ring and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna open it up. And the reason I'm showing you this so that you do it in the same order. Make sure you do it in the same order. Make sure you do your long strand, your medium strand, and then your shortest strand. Make sure you do it in the same order so you don't twist your necklace up. And then you're just gonna do the same thing. You're gonna put it on your metal circle. Oh my word, look at this. This is so cute. I absolutely love it. I love it, love it, love it. I, oh my goodness, can't get enough of it. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna put the chain um, that will go around my neck. Now you could make this a, a necklace that has a clasp on it, but I wanna make this a lot longer. And so I am actually going to make the chain so long they can just slide it around my neck. So I did about a 20 inch chain. I cut a 20 inch chain um, from this spool and I am gonna connect it now around and yeah, if you want to do a class, you are more than welcome. But in order to connect your chain, you need to open up your loop on the bead that's connected to your circle, uh, metal circle. And then you're going to just take one side of it and you're going to connect your link in there and then you're gonna close it up make sure there's no gap or else the chain will fall off I say this all the time but it's a good reminder so I did that and now I want to connect it to the other side this the same exact way and that my fellow jewelers is how you make this three-stranded beauty uh, 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 uh. I love the layers yes I do yes I do oh I love the layers oh my goodness it was a little complicated but we got through it together that's right step by step we made it and we made a beautiful creation. Now, if you've been inspired by this video or any of my other videos, I'd love to see your creation. Go to my Facebook and go to my messenger and send me pictures of your creation and I will post it to my Facebook page. That's right, because I like to celebrate with you and share it with others. And so before I go, you know I love praying for my viewers. You know I love praying for you. And I felt like the Lord when me pray for those that are trying to get a job and it just feels like you can't. You're knocking down doors. You're like, hey, I want a job, but they keep saying no. So I wanna pray that you find a job. Or if you have a business, pray that your business would start to take off. Okay, so let's pray. God, I thank you that you are the one that really opened doors. You are the door opener. God, I pray for those that have been trying to get a job. God, I pray that you would open those doors. I pray that it'd be good hours, good wages. God, I pray that it would work in their schedule and in their timing. And Lord, I pray for those that are starting a business or have a business. God, I pray that it would take off. God, that you would give them wisdom, that you would show them the things that they're maybe having problems with or whatever, but that you would help their business to grow. In Jesus name. Amen. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love making jewelry with you and I can't wait till the next video. So I will see you guys later. Bye.